Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to be making a wireframe render for um, geometry in Maya 2016. Let's just start out and select the object. I'm just going to right click and I'm just going to add, uh, go to a favorite material and I'm going to add a Lambert material. I'm just going to go into this Lambert material. I'm going to leave it at, at mid gray, um, which we may change later anyway. I'm just going to go into the incandescence, just brighten this up. Although again, we could possibly change this, but this is to show you some of the options. Then what we need to do is just go into our uh, Lambert smoothing group and switch the twirl the mental ray down. So we should go to the mental ray, and we need to be looking for this contours. Go into this and enable contour rendering. The color that I'm going to use, I'm going to have a black wireframe. So let's just bring this down. And for the width. I'm going to set this down to about 0.6. Um, you may need to set this a different value for your model. You just um, have to play around with this. Okay. So next, I'm going to go to the render settings. Just making sure that we are using mental ray to render here. If mental ray is not on, just go to display uh, windows, setting preferences, and into your plugin manager. Obviously, making sure that you've downloaded it for 2016. And if you just go down, and this is where uh, it is in, on my machine. So we have this uh, mental Maya 2 mrmml Just make sure this is loaded and auto load clicked on. Close that. So then in here, we just need to go to our configuration, and right down at the bottom, we have this contours drop down. So we just open that up. You just need to make sure this enable contour rendering is clicked on. If I go and do a render right now, there's going to be no real difference on this. So what we need to do is just check this error down here. So down here we have this contour rendering is not supported with unified sampling. Uh, use legacy sampling mode. So legacy sampling mode, if we just go to the quality and right down the bottom of this we've got our legacy options go into this so in our sampling mode currently set to unified sampling so we just need to go in this change this to legacy sampling mode Okay. let's go back to our configuration and we need to go into this draw by property difference so I'm going to take on two things here. We're going to take on to have the wireframe around the silhouette and also around all poly faces. So essentially for every poly face, you're going to have a wireframe rendered around that. So let's just tick on that. And uh, let's just do a render. OK, and there we go. Now it's looking a little bit um, rubbish at the minute for one of a better word. So we can go in and we can just play around with the oversample. I'm going to set this to around 6 right now. Let's just take another render. You see that the quality starts to improve. And we can take that up a little bit if we need to as well. I'm also just going to go into the filter support. I'm just going to take this to its max 2. Okay, so that's just going to smooth everything out for us. So we could leave it at this point. Um, if you are wanting to comp this over a version of your um, object with the textures on in, say, Photoshop, you could do. So what we could do is we can go in and we can just go into our contours and just click on hide source. And uh, what I'm going to do for mine because I have a black wireframe, and this would be on a black uh, background, so you wouldn't show anything. I was going to set this to white. Let's go in and just do a render, and there we have it. Uh, we can have our wireframe over the background on a white background, and that's just a, a little quick tutorial on just creating wireframes in Maya 2016.